Hi, this is lesson number five from our Photoshop training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about crop tool. Crop tool is very useful and not only we are using crop tool to trim the image, but many other things we can do with that. The basic functionality of the crop tool is to trim or cut the area around our image. Here we have crop tool. Click on crop tool. I have one image here that is a beautiful sunny day and you can see the edges we have crop marks now. It is because crop tool is selected. The simple way to use the crop tool is to just hold from any one of the handle and drag it this way and simply hit enter. Now the image has been cropped. Control Z undo. Once the crop tool is selected, if I will click anywhere in the screen and drag, I can define the crop area this way. Hit enter key or you can just click on this button here. The image will be cropped. Undo, press space key, click and drag your mouse to center the image. Click. We can also crop the image from both sides horizontally and vertically from the corner this way. At the top here, we have different ratios. You can see with these ratios, we can crop the image. The first one, if I will click it, one by one ratio is set. Previously, I did, meaning from both sides, the image will be cropped with the same ratio, one horizontally and one vertically. So if I will change this here, let's say if I will type two, our ratio has been change one is horizontally and two is vertically the image will be cropped this way and simply press enter or click on this button to confirm the changes so the image will be cropped i will go back let's set the ratio one and hit enter and now our image is cropped in square let's go back here we have width height by resolution you need to be careful if I will click this and this time if we will type here one from both side, it looks the same, but it is not once you will press enter. This time what's happening, Photoshop will crop the size one pixel horizontally and one pixel vertically, meaning to say our size will remain one pixel by one pixel. If I will press enter, click on zoom tool and click on fit screen this word remain it is just one pixel control z undo fit screen go back to crop tool so here in width and height by resolution you really need to know what is the exactly image size before you crop there's another option here we have original ratio if you don't want to lose the original ratio of image you can set by original ratio this time if i will click and drag now our image is bounded with the original ratio and once we will resize this way photoshop will maintain the ratio of the image if i want i can click and drag my image to center and once i will press enter photoshop will confirm the changes if you want to go out from the crop tool you can press escape key or you can click on this button here so this is how we go back. After the original ratio, here we have different uh, predefined ratios. If you want, you can set, you can try this. Even using crop tool, we can extend the area around our image horizontally and vertically. Crop tool is active. If I will click and expand this way, now you can see Photoshop added transparent pixel horizontally. Same thing we can do vertically also. And once we will press enter, now our image is extended horizontally and vertically from both sides. I will go back. With the crop tool, we can also clone the area. We can copy the area. Crop tool is active. Our image is selected. And here we have option content aware. If I will click this. And once we will extend the image horizontally or vertically, this way, Photoshop will clone the close pixels and fill the new added space. Let's try. 
hit enter the area is added and uh, here photoshop try to copy the close area from the image and fill the pixel in if i will go back you will see this is the before and this is now so content aware tool is also very useful but it is recommended that the area you are extending it should not be really wide in that case content aware tool might not work properly once again i will go back and here we have option delete crop pixel if this option is checked the cropped image detail will not remain the previous history will be deleted now it is not checked if i will click and simply crop the image hit enter click still you can go back and you can extend the area but if delete crop pixels is active you will not be able to get back the area you cropped now if i will check this and crop the image hit enter once again if i will click on crop tool and click now you can see no more the crop history will remain if it is unchecked even you save the file as long as it is a psd photoshop format crop tool will maintain the history here we have different grids you can see rule of third three columns and three rows we have grids and diagonal triangle most of the time we are using the first option to crop the image but you can try some of them another thing also we can do using crop tool you can straighten the image once again i will go back in this image if you observe the horizon of this image it is slightly in angle it is not really straight horizontally so if we want we can fix using crop tool also once the crop tool is active you can see here we have option straighten it is simple if i want to straighten this image i can click on this button and simply i will click and drag this way just release the mouse and now you can see our horizon is perfectly straight but this way you can see that some areas trimmed around the image and some is extended so if we want we can just click and drag to maintain the aspect ratio we can press shift key also from the bottom as well and hit enter key so this is how easily we straighten the image using crop tool so these are the basic functionalities of the crop tool that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you